guys, and welcome to the replay. Happy early morning chalking and coffee. you guys do not mind me I look like heck but yay switcher did an update and I was able to pull my video back in so that's super fun I really love that video and I was sad that I didn't have it anymore so that is super good so let's see I found myself on YouTube did I find myself on Facebook yes it did go through good morning here we go yay Hey, Jen Jones. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Deborah Mae Jones. Hello, you guys. Happy early morning chalking and coffee. I have my coffee. Sorry I didn't come on last night. Cool mom mug because I still don't have access to all my other mugs. Um, sorry I didn't come on last night. I was exhausted, you guys. We had to, um, we had to get our camper closed and moved out of the campground we were in because we no longer wanted to be there. And yesterday was the last day we could do it. <laughs> um, so we went down, Brandon, big Brandon and I went down Friday afternoon as soon as he got home from work and we worked our tails off. My bones ached so bad because we had to move all of our outdoor furniture into a storage truck, then off the storage truck into a storage unit. It was crazy town, you guys. And I am fat and out of shape. <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. So we need to do something about it because I cannot take that I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I'm so tired. And last night, I'm sorry, I just could not come on. I was so tired because yesterday was the last part of it. We had to pack up the whole inside, get all that done. Another trip in my car over to storage, unloading, put into the storage unit, load the rest of the stuff that had to come up into my car. Literally, I feel like I have um, been doing hardcore labor for three weeks and my out of shape self said, it's been one day fatty. <laughs> it's okay. So yes, there's that. So guess what? We're going to do something about that. I'm tired of feeling like this, but regardless, we did that. Can I just tell you guys, you guys have seen me react over the flies, the atomic flies in my house. Um, do you know what kind of spiders happen at campgrounds? Oh my God. I'm a, look, I have goosebumps on my arm right now talking about them because they were gigantic. I'm not even, I'm, I'm going to no exaggerate here. Okay. They were literally this big. Okay. They were the, we call them sprickets here. The hopping spiders. Uh, they're disgusting. And some of our stuff was overrun by them. And it's because it was a wet it was, it's been a wet season, a cold, wet, damp place. Cause it's our little storage shed outside. Big Brown was like, don't come over here. Don't come look at this. You don't want to come look at this. Thank God he's not creeped out by that stuff, but I absolutely was. So yeah, there's that. Um, it was disgusting. Good morning, you guys. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Patty. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, Penny. Good morning, Laura Woods. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see if we have anybody over on Utah. Hi, Southern Charm Chocolate. Lori, how are you, girl? Um, yeah, so that was gross, but we got it done. Um, Big Brand, thank God for him because he's not afraid of them, but he was like, come on, Jess, get over it. Get over it. I'm like, I can't. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Oh, I feel bad. I left him high and dry with some things, but he's a good guy. Hi, Steph. Um, oh, thank you. Good morning, Angie. But yeah, so not only am I uh, like fat and out of shape, but now I'm scared of spiders. So there's that. I'm terrified of spiders. And he's like, when did this fear come over? 
Um, where have you been the last 22 years, man? I'm terrified of spiders. You know this. He has heard the stories of like when I used to work in banking and we would go to open the branch, like, you know, one person goes in and stuff like that and being paralyzed by fear because there were wolf spiders on the ground because we were in our branch was a brand new build and we took over areas where, you know, bugs and snakes and rats and everything else and mice all inhabited. So we would have mice, we would have snakes. We especially would get wolf spiders all the time and those suckers I said they had antlers and fangs. Like, they were ugh, just gross. So, yeah, there's that. Hi, Janice. Hi, Lisa. So, Jess doesn't do spiders. And Big Brand knows this. So, he needs to wake up and realize that. Little Brand killed because, once again, it's been raining nonstop here. Um, it, like, stops for a little bit. Thank God it was it didn't rain while we were moving. But uh, we had a spricket in the shower the other night, the new shower in the basement. And it just, it's common. It's very common for our area because we have a high water table. So like it's damp, it's cold. They ha they come, they come from the sump pump and somehow it got into the shower. So I need to figure out a way to cover up the shower drain when I'm not in there. Because if one comes in there with me, when I am showering, let me just tell you how bad would this be? Audubon girl is found naked and covered with sprickets because she dies of fright. And then my big butt is out there for the whole world to say, no, thank you. So go away, sprickets. Go away, spiders. We're done. Um. Oh, yeah. Agreed, girl. No snakes, no spiders. I don't do that. Big Brand does not do snakes. He won't. And, down, and at the campground last year, we were going to grill, and I took the cover off the grill, and I was like, what the heck is that noise? Oh, there was a little snake in there. Yeah, no big deal. Just a snake in the grill. So yeah, so that's that. But anywho, let's let's talk about something better, shall we? So, um, I'm finally doing some ink projects. I was able to get out my I, and this makes me sound so bad. Like, hello, Jess, just stop being a like a lazy person. I just had to move around some things, but I was able to get to my um my uh heat press. So now we're gonna be doing some ink projects. I have them slated for the rest of this week. Um, but here's what we're going to do today. We're going to do Mary and Bright at home. And let me tell you, when we were going down the shore, we, I found out, well, be, okay, so here's sneaky big brand. So we're, me and him were driving down the shore. We had to drive to pick up the, the Penske rental truck to move all the outdoor furniture first over to storage. And as we get to the storage place, now keep in mind, this was like an hour ride to get there. He's like, oh yeah, here you go. And he turns on it was the old love channel on Sirius radio and it's Hallmark holiday classics. So Christmas music is playing you guys. I'm so excited about it. But he's like, I couldn't listen to Christmas music the whole way down. Like big brand is like Christmas music for two days and he's done. And the two days need to be December 24th and 25th and call it a day. I want it as soon as I can get it. Um, I love listening to Christmas music. So better believe that that's going to be playing. So that's totally got me put in mind to do a fun holiday project. Um, and we're going to be making a Christmas pillow. We're going to do the Merry and Bright at Home with non-traditional Christmas colors, I'm going to tell you, um, on one of our canvas pillowcases. So let's get into this, shall we? I have talked way more than enough, but I just wanted to fill you guys in on why I wasn't live last night. I had high hopes of coming in to do like a for real sipping and chalking at night. Just did um, sleeping and drooling at night instead. It was not a sipping and chalking. I'm sorry. I was tired. So, anywho, let's get into this. So, if this is your first time seeing Chalk Couture, or you may have heard of Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with a designer, please put a one down below because I would love to be your designer. If you're already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please put a two down below and throw me some hearts. If you are catching me live, please say hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, please say hashtag replay. If you're catching me on Facebook, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. If you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you click share. If you're catching me on YouTube, under the live video to the left of the live chat is that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you'd share my video. Now, while you're still on YouTube, right next to that share button is the subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button and turn your notifications on. I would love it if you would follow me there. That way when Facebook gets wonky, Facebook's gets wonky, I can still go live on YouTube. Now, if you're on Facebook though, please like my fan page, give a big thumbs up to that big thumbs up and turn your notifications on. 
Um, if you'd like to follow me on social media, let me show you. I can be found on YouTube, Crampton and Stampin', no G's. We dropped the G's in New Jersey. That is my channel name, so you can go ahead and find me there. Now, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's the exact same thing. Crafton and Stampin' No G's. Finally, if you'd like to find me on Facebook, I'm under Chalk Couture with Jessica. Just look it up and you will find me. No big deal. So that is it, you guys. Let's pop up a little something for all our new friends while I get my cameras ready. All righty. I think we've had that up long enough. Okay, you guys. So let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to shuffle my Cool Mom mug out of the way. And I'm going to move this stuff over here for a sec. So the first thing we are actually going to do is we are going to iron our pillowcase. Because we don't want to have any, you know, we don't want to have any, any, um, what is this called? Lines. Crinkles. No crinkles, okay? So I've got my heat press here. Ah, and I'm making a mess. So all I'm going to do is iron this. Now, I am the world's worst ironer. Oh, I probably should not do it on my self-healing mat, though. I wonder what will happen. Let's wait and see, shall we? All right. All righty. Let's just get all the crinkles out. I hate having lines in it. You know what I had heard sometimes... My mom, I used to see her always would spray stuff. I wonder if I spray it. Will that help get some of the lines out? I think it'll be okay. Okay. So, I gotta be careful because I have a ton of wires here and I do not want them to be burnt. Okay. So, got my pillowcase. I have the zipper at the bottom. I prefer to have the zipper at the bottom. Um, so, what I'm going to do first is input my 18, I think it's 18, no, 17 by 17 ink mat. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to put this on the inside of my pillowcase. So that way I do not, um, get any ink. If it, in case it bleeds, it won't go to the back of the pillow. What is happening? Just stay. There it goes. So does everybody have their coffee? I have Folgers Colombian blend in my cup this morning. Um, the other day I did have Starbucks holiday blend. It's still the one that I bought from last year. It's a K cup. Um, I have yet to find the Starbucks holiday blend in my stores. It's so crazy. I'm hoping that, you know, maybe next weekend they start showing up. And here's another thing, you guys, that I am hunting for. If anybody is near New Jersey and has seen it, let me know. Today is launch day of the new Bullseye Playground stuff, and there are some super cute things that I want to chalk on that I see in it. Well, I've seen some people. It already happened. And, like, if you're in Texas, you're lucky because you guys got the mother load. So there's tons of stuff. Hi, Michelle Scott. Hi, Cindy. How you doing, girly? Hi, Tiffany. Now I want to turn on Christmas music. You're welcome, Tiffany. You're very welcome. You can you can thank me later, girl. Let me see. Hold on. Let me check on YouTube. Oh, gosh. We got lots of people on YouTube now. Hi, Kelly Harper. Hi, Chan Sta. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Lori. I can't take it. Not laughing. You know, but I'm literally rolling. I'm so glad. I hope I gave you a good laugh this morning. <coughs> Hi, Betty. Good morning. Nice sunny morning here. Betty, it is rainy and cold here in Audubon, New Jersey. I will tell you that much. Super cold. Hi, Karen. Oh, pumpkin spice. I never got into pumpkin spice, you guys. Never did. No coffee for me. I never drink coffee. Dawn Marie, what do you drink? Aren't you a hot chocolate or tea drinker? Okay, so Ink Man is in. It is nice looking good. Now, I'm going to move this for right now because it's going to take up a, a bunch of my beginning stuff. Don't mind the shadows. It's because of my light. Okay. So we are going to do the merry and bright at home on this pillow. And like I said, I'm not going to use traditional Christmas colors. I want to play around with some colors. I want this to feel soft and inviting. Um, let's just good morning, Melinda. That's just the idea that I want to go with. So we are going to do, I'll show you the colors. Let me label the back of this first. Cause this is the first time I'm using it. 
This is called Marion Bright at Home. Okay. I love it. So there's that. So we got this labeled. Now, when I am using a transfer on fabric, I don't fuzz it up. It's my own personal preference. I like it to be super sticky on my um, material. So that way I don't have any bleeds. Now, the next thing is when I'm using a transfer that is larger than our standard B size, there's a certain way I like to take it off the carrier sheet so it doesn't fold or stick upon itself. What I do is I will hold down the transfer with one hand, okay? So my left hand is holding it down. My right hand is pulling the carrier sheet off. Now, what I'll do is I'll stop a little halfways, and then as I'm pulling, I will continue to hold the transfer down with my hand. See, then it does not fold on itself. And this is a sticky bugger, okay? So let's go ahead. Hold on. I got to push my computer back. Oh, God, don't make an avalanche. Hold on. Let's move you over a little bit more. There it goes. All right, now let's place our transfer down. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I have no bumps in my silk screen area. So what I'm going to do is I am going to press down really nicely all over this transfer, okay? I will likely even use my angled squeegee, which is where, there it is, to help make sure that it is all pushed down. No bumps in that silk screen area. We don't want any, okay? Start in the middle, push your way to the side, make sure it's all down nicely, okay? Oh, do you see that? Nope, you stop it. There it goes. It's my heat press telling me it wants to shut off. And I said no. Good morning, Les. Good morning, Brenda. I miss you. You guys, my big Brenda's here. Okay, so we're going to push this down just like so. QVC Hallmark and football on TV. Oh, I could leave the football. Believe me, my team is not doing so well this season. But um, I heard the Hallmark Channel um, has already put out, I think, like four Christmas movies, and they're all awesome. That's what someone said in my feed today. Not really sure. So I definitely um, plan to do that. I plan to watch some Hallmark movies very soon. Okay, so we're going to slide this guy over just a little bit more. Because I cannot, oh gosh, I'm going to have a whole avalanche. You guys are going to hear it. Yikes. Saw that happening. Couldn't do anything about it. Okay. So we are ready to go. Now, if you heard me say, I said I'm going to use some non-traditional Christmas colors, right? So I'm going to be using Marvelous Storm Ocean Mist, Eucalyptus, and Pesto. Very soft colors, but I feel like they'll be super warm and super inviting. Um, and it'll be super comfy on the couch for Christmas. So what I want to do is I want to do Mary in Marvelous. I want to do Pesto for Bright. Um, I'm going to use... Nope, no, no. Do I want to do Pesto? Hold on. Maybe Eucalyptus, right? And then I'm going to do Pesto for the Trees... I'm going to do Storm for the house, and I'm going to do Ocean Mist for all of the little stars and dots that look like it could be snowflakes, okay? Um, good morning, Joyce. How are you? All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this, shall we? Now, I don't even think I've opened some of these ink colors, you guys. Like, Marvelous definitely didn't open. And you guys know how I am with opening things. Kind of the worst. Alrighty, let's get let's get dirty because that's what the, what's about to happen. Oh, I can tell Big Brand opened Bumblebee with these scissors. I remember from his part of the live, and there's Bumblebee chalk paste all over them. Way to go, hubby! Okay. Jeez. Brand to not clean these at all. This is why I'm funny about people using my stuff. Hopefully it didn't transfer that color into the marvelous.
Okay. Probably should not be doing this over the project. That would probably be super smart to not do. Sometimes I lack on the smarts or the common sense. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Sharon. All right. So got Marvelous ready. Eucalyptus, right? Didn't I say I was going to use an eucalyptus? That's ready to go. So let's get those two over here. Ah! Oh, no, that was from before. Okay, great. That's already opened. This should be opened. I've definitely used Storm before. Yep. Storm is ready to rock and roll. Ocean Mist is probably not going to be opened. Darn it. It does not open. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Can't do that in the air, you guys, because I almost stabbed myself. Not smart. What's that saying? Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Because <laughs> Lord knows I am. Okay. All right. So we've got our Ocean Mist and our Marvelous were just open. So now we are ready to rock and roll. So let's do this. I'm tired of saying what I'm going to do. I need to do it. All right, so we are going to start at the top, and we will work our way down, okay? Now, ink I like because I feel like, well, here, there's a good and the bad in the ink, okay? One, I'm super messy. You guys know this. Um, so when I am messy, sometimes um, I make a mistake I can't fix. But if you take your time, and with ink, that's what I like. It allows you to take your time. Um, you won't mess up. All right, so let's do this, shall we? So I'm going to do these light little dot pieces and the little stars. I'm going to do it in the ocean mist. And you only need a little bit, you guys. The thing I like to do with the canvas is I like to make sure that the color actually soaks in. So I'll load up a heavy amount and then take it off, okay? I like to make sure the color is in there, though. Okay, so let's put the squeegee to the side. Now let's come over and let's get the Mary done. Now make sure I have no bumps in the silk screen area and that all my edges are pushed down. That M is making me concerned, okay? So I like to start above the silk screen area and pull my color down. I only like to go up and down when I'm working with ink. And the reason behind it is I have noticed that if I have a bleed, <clears throat> if I go side to side with the ink, it will carry <clears throat> it will carry that bleed through. I don't want that to happen. I want my bleed to to try to be stopped. Okay? So that is, that's the explanation. And I am being super, super, I should be paying closer attention to this. I should not be dipping the color from far away. Okay. Now I'm putting little bits on. Oh, I think I just got ocean mist all over my arm. Awesome. That all looks super good. Okay, let's continue on. 
with my not clean, nice. Let's do eucalyptus, okay? And maybe I'll do the ampersand in the ocean mist. I don't know. Actually, no, I'm going to do the ampersand in eucalyptus. It's fine. You guys, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to get the color down quickly. I will check out comments in just a minute. Oh, I have so much cleaning to do today. I'm not even looking forward to it. I want to sit and watch Christmas movies on Hallmark <laughs> and chalk. That's what I want to do. You knock it off. That's my heat press talking to me, saying it wants to automatically shut off. Okay, so what I'm going to actually do right now is I'm going to pull some, oh, well, let me do, hold on, let me get this, this snow part done here, and then I'll probably pull it off. Here, I'll pull down a little. Okay. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that looks so good, you guys. So good. Wow. All right, I'm going to just gently let it drop back down, okay? So that way I can get my house done and my other trees. So let's use... Let's do Storm for our little house. And we're going to do pesto for our trees. Okay. Yikes, I'm getting it all over myself. Hi, Mary. Hi, Dina. Okay. In our trees done. Remember, start a little above the silk screen area and just pull that color down. That looks super good. Our pesto done. God, please don't fall on the ground. Okay, now let's do our house. And we're just going to do it in storm. And then we'll do the little walkway in ocean mist. Okay.
just got to be careful as I come closer to the meadow. <clears throat> A daisy, you go a little too far down. Oop, get out of there. Hold on, I went right into the meadow. Okay, now let's come on back with our ocean mist and we'll do a little ocean mist walkway. That was a lot. Okay, I think we are done. Let's go ahead and let's peel this off. Oh, you guys, it's adorable. I had one little bleed, little itty bitty bleed. Hold on, let me push it up so you guys can see. Look how cute that looks. All right, hold on. Let me go and rinse this. When you're working with ink, you've got to wash quick. So give me one sec. Transfer is washed. Let's seal up our inks. Okay, and then once our inks are all clean, uh, all washed up, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start washing or drying our project. So that way we can heat set it and it'll be done. Okay, I'm just going to put my squeegees off to the side so I don't accidentally get ink on myself. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Joyce. Thanks. Good morning, Mary. Just 
just getting my inks. You know, I wanted to use a little fig, but I realized somehow I never ordered the fig couture ink. What in the holy heck is wrong with me? Why did that not happen? So what I did use was eucalyptus pesto, marvelous, ocean mist, and storm. And I think they turned out, I think it turned out perfect. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out that ink mat because I don't want to, I shouldn't be drying or ironing on it. We will not be happy if we do that. Okay. Good morning, Iris. Thanks, Michelle Fox. Thank you, Anne Marie. Right, Dawn Marie? Agreed. Oops, don't you shut off. I need you now. Thank you, Lourdes. Okay, so let me stick this over here. Now we're going to dry. So now is when I'm going to enjoy some coffee while I dry because I got to dry the whole thing. It's got to be totally dry before you heat set it. You will not be happy if you try to heat set while it's, while it's still wet, okay? Love how it turned out. I just love it. I love the font for Mary and Bright, too. I could totally see using just the Mary and Bright on some things. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Don Marie. Let's check out YouTube. What's happening over there? Thank you, Lori. I know, right? Ditch the cleaning. I agree. Hi, Cheryl Shepard. Hi, Marilyn. Good morning. Hello, hello. Thanks, guys. Aren't they perfect? I love them. I am going to tell you something. I think Marvelous and Eucalyptus are going to be like my colors of the season because they're gorgeous. I know, Cheryl, Cheryl Shepard, I agree with you. No going back. But the fact that we really can take our time and not worry when you pull it back and it's like, oh, darn, the chalk paste dried. Things not drying. You've got time. It's just you got to remember you got to take your time and be easy with it. You know? Oh, here's a fun fact. Parchment paper. Oh, I found it. Okay. I was going to say, what the heck did I do with that? I haven't, I haven't heat set something in such a long time. And I heat set the things from the Watts of Love with the piece that I had, but then I promptly spilled my coffee on it after I was, when I was cleaning up to get everything mailed out. So there's that. Hi, Charlene. Thank you for sharing, Lourdes. Now, you will know that the ink is dry when it is tacky to the touch. Okay, like my Marvelous actually is still a little wet, believe it or not. You know what I want to do? You know how we have the big, um, what is it called? Uh, hold on. I'll find the name of it. I want to do it on lumbar pillows with ink, and I'm going to be doing it this week. It is. Hold on. Please hold. I'm getting there. It is called... What is it? Good cheer. I couldn't remember the name of it. I'm going to be doing that on two lumbar pillows this week. Oh, I can't wait with some holiday colors. I have another idea, too, of what I'm going to do with the pillow. I can't wait, you guys. It's going to be adorbs. 
And I may have to do a portion of it before, um, before I go live, because otherwise it could be a really long live. Because these things sometimes take a lot of time to dry. They're really big. And that's fine because I want it to be done right, right? Okay, so we are totally dry. Now let's get some whoop, parchment paper that's falling out of the box. Okay. And we are going to use it as our barrier in between our... Oh, hold on. We're knocking transfers over. We're going to use it as a barrier between our canvas pillow and the... Um, heat press. You will do the same thing. I'll fix that later. You'll do the same thing even if you were using an iron. You still want a barrier, you guys. Okay? So, oh, that's perfect. Going this way, that works. All right, hold on. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get all of my wires out of the way so I can get this heat pressed down. Okay, so now 3.30, 30 seconds, time to go. So all I'm going to do is be pressing and moving slightly. Okay. Hi, Kim. How are you? Sanding tumblers. Okay, Tiff. I'm curious to see what you come up with there. Now, heat setting ink will make it be so that way um, it will make my stuff be permanent. So that way, like, say we have an oopsie with this pillow on my, my sofa. Um, if we have an oopsie, it's fine. I can throw it in the washer. No big deal. Um, if it wasn't permanent, we wouldn't be able to do that. It would be gone. So some people have said, well, why can't I just use, <gasps> oh no, you definitely cannot heat set over your self-healing mat. Just learned. Darn it. I forgot. I didn't want to do it over it. Hold on, you guys. Oh boy. It just buckled. The whole thing just bubbled up. Well, it's a good thing I have another one coming. Darn. It is not meant to be heat set on, you guys. Do not do it. Darn, darn, darn. All right. I'll have to flatten that out somehow. I felt it pop right up on me. Oh, no. Okay. What a bummer. So I'm going to have to get another one ordered. I have one coming, but that was supposed to be like a stock piece. Oy. Yay, Kim. Try it, girl. Don't heat set on top of your self-healing mat. Take it from me. Just learned. Totally forgot it was underneath me. Oh, what a dope. And you want to do it on 330 for 30 seconds, you guys, okay? So my heat press, hold on, actually lost temp. So that happens. And we're going to do it both inside and out. There it goes. I cannot believe I did that over my self-healing mat. What a goofball. They've been my colors since I've got them. Love it. I did that and once cooled. It was okay. Okay, cool. I did it before on another self-healing mat that I had and it never bounced back. <laughs> so I'm hoping it does. I really do. I really hope it, it, it comes out okay. If not, you guys learned your lesson from me. What to do, what not to do. And I'm just going over. I like to do corner, 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 and then I do the centers to make sure that I have everything. Okay. It's so cute. Alrighty, time to flip it inside out, and we're going to do the same thing. Now, when we flip inside out, we're going to put the parchment paper in between the two, um, in between, in the inside, in between the project and the back of the case, okay? Okay. But once we get this all done, we are totally heat set and ready 
to be washed if need be. How fun, right? All righty, let's do the same thing, you guys. So let's chat while I'm heat setting. You're straightened out awesome, Laura. Glad to hear. So if while you guys were watching, you had said, oh my gosh, I've got to get my hands on these projects or these products, but I'm not currently working with a designer. Well, guess what? I would love to be your designer. All you need to do is comment me right down below and I'll message you the link for my VIP group. In my VIP group, I have so much going on. I have special offers, bundle deals. I have try me kits, intro kits. I have a monthly chalk box subscription. And you know what, you guys? Opening up this Friday is my Christmas retreat in a box. If you want more information about it, you've got to be in my VIP group. Um, that is the only way to see it. And I'm sorry, you guys, policy states I cannot have designers in my VIP group. So please don't ask to come in because it makes me feel so bad telling you no and declining you. Um, but I am super pumped about it. I cannot wait. I have so many good ideas planned. It's going to be so awesome. You guys aren't going to want to miss out, okay? Um, and I have over 700 Chalk Couture videos in there, so you will be bound to find some inspiration, I pray, okay? Now, if you are interested in getting your hands on our Business in a Box and launching your, um, you, launching your empire, okay, you do not want to miss out on getting your hands on this super cute VI, um, I'm sorry, designer, <laughs> this is the new designer kit, oh my gosh, I can't talk, so it is valued, um, it's $99 US, $129 Canadian, valued at over $240 US and over $330 Canadian, um, it comes with five three-ounce chalk paste, seven silk screen transfers, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a board and base, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, and our Aiden Porcelain Steel Magnetic Chalkboard. It is awesome. It's measures, it measures at 9 by 12, you guys. So if, whoops, we're not supposed to be here. We're supposed to be here. Jess, you silly girl. We'll just go like this just to finish up. Okay, so if you are interested in joining my team, but you say, you know what, I've got questions and I need them answered, no problem. I've got answers. All you need to do is comment join right down below and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single thing you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining my team, but joining Chalk Tour. I want this to be a decision that you're super happy with, okay? Um, so just comment, join down below. Now let's just go back to my hands there. Okay. Um, we're going to talk designer or we're going to talk club couture in just a second. I have eight seconds left and this project is finished. Um, and let's see, done. Okay. So we are all good to go. You guys. Yay. So, um, let's take this out and I will make this now my new piece of parchment paper. It lasts forever. You guys. I just happened to spill on mine, which is why I had no choice but to. Um, I had no choice but to call it quits. Okay, so here is my pillow cover. I can't wait to stuff it with some pillows. You know what? Here's where I could kick myself in the tush. The bajillion times I've went to Ikea to return things for the kitchen... Yeah, how come I didn't think to get pillows at all while I was there? What is that about? Okay, goofball. I don't know how I managed to do that. Jeez, I could have easily had pillows for these pillowcases. Oh my gosh, but that's okay. I'll just store my pillowcases for the other things I've made until after Christmas. So how cute is that? I love it. Merry and bright. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, you guys, I hope you love it. I hope you love it. Okay, so if you were interested in getting the best, okay, the best home subscription service out there, you are not going to want to miss signing up for Club Couture. Club Couture is an amazing home decor DIY uh, mail uh, club. Okay. You get a brand new size B exclusive transfer and three chalk paste singles right to your door. It's only $19.99 US or $26.99 Canadian, um, plus tax for both of them, but free shipping, you guys, completely free shipping. You also have access once you join Club Couture to four sales throughout the year that Club Couture offer or that Chalk Couture offers. And guess what? One of those sales is going on now. So you do not want to miss out. Okay. 
Happy Sunday, Roberta. So, um, additionally, when you join Club Couture under me, you get to go into my Club Couture group. And in there, I make three additional projects every single month with that Club Couture. Now, once you add Club Couture to your cart, you will be prompted um, to add October's Club Couture because here's what happens, you guys. When you join Club Couture, it is a minimum of a three-month commitment. However, if you're joining in October of 2019, you're not going to be billed until November 5th followed by December 5th, followed by January 5th. It is not three months all at once. It's three months separated out, but it is a three-month commitment. You will not get October's Club Couture if you join in October. You'll actually start with November, but you have the ability to add October's Club Couture into your cart. And how cute is this? Happy Fall Days. Would you not love to have this? This is the sweetest, cutest transfer ever. I am dying to see what they come up with. For November, I hope it's something that is equally as cute as this super adorable acorn. Now, once you add that to your cart, you'll also even have the ability to add our Kickstarter kit. Our Kickstarter kit is $69.99 US or $93.49 Canadian. It's valued at over $76 US and over $102 Canadian. It comes with our 9x12 porcelain steel Ada Magnetic chalkboard, a board and base, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, and a three-ounce bright white chalk paste, okay, you guys? So if you're interested in any more of that information, just comment club down below, and I will make sure you get it. So that's my project. I hope you love it. I can't wait to go stuff a pillowcase into this um, and get started. Well, I can't get started on decorating till the kitchen's done. You guys, please pray for me. We have one more week. It is due to be done November the 1st. There's a lot of work still to be done, but November 1st, I was assured. So I love my contractor and he has been rocking and rolling our upper cabinets, our lower cabinets, the island cabinets. They're all done. Um, and we've already started on tile on the whole inner part. I'm going to call it the inner part of the kitchen. So here's hoping. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to go off to clean you guys so I can go back to maybe chalking a little more, some more fun things. Um, and I will definitely see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy your Sunday, whether it's watching football or catching some Hallmark movies or just listening to Christmas carols. I hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you guys later. So have a great day. Okay. Bye.